It is with great pleasure that I announce Professor Giovanni Mantovani, who holds the chair of medical oncology at the University of um, uh, Cagliari and who's director of the uh, medical oncology department at the University Buongiorno Hospital tutti, of Cagliari. Good morning, everyone. I would like to thank the organizers, especially, particularly Dr. Lafranchi, who's the scientific director of the uh, Cancer Institute. I would like to thank uh, the chair. I'm a medical oncologist. That is my uh, job in life. After the two uh, learned presentations that were made before me, I would now like to speak about the clinical aspects and I would like to describe some of our experiences to you. So today I would like to speak about oxidative stress in the field of neoplastic kixia. We've been dealing with uh, neoplastic kixia for some time now. As you all know, this is one of the main uh, symptoms of the uh, end phase of a neoplastic disease. It's a very complex syndrome. I do not wish to enter into the various details today, but essentially I would like to say that the main characteristics are loss of body weight, especially with loss of body muscle, much less of adipose tissue. There is involvement of the metabolism, both in terms of the individual nutrients and the energy system in general, there's a situation of hypermetabolism associated to a number of other symptoms, uh, which the, the, the most important is fatigue, uh, asthenia, which is present from the early morning, uh, reduced performance status, and uh, uh, generally anorexia, and a number of other symptoms as well. The precise definition of kakixia uh, did not see the agreement, univocal agreement of every uh, scientist in the past. Today, there was a consensus conference that was held recently, and uh, the uh, results were that along with uh, body weight loss of at least 5%, there have to be at least three of the symptoms that are listed on the slide. And if we have these conditions, we can speak of kakixia. These are the main characteristics. Cancer, progression of the disease, nausea, vomiting, anorexia, metabolic changes, and uh, neoplastic kakixia syndrome. Two very important markers of this situation is the uh, uh, metabolic uh, changes and a situation of chronic inflammation, which has already been uh, said here this morning. The patient with cancer, especially with advanced stage cancer, has chronic inflammation persistently. This has been documented by the fact that there is an increase uh, of protein C-reactive protein, and also by the increase of pro-inflammatory cytokines, the main of which are IL-1, IL-6, and TNF-alpha. These cytokines are mainly responsible for the metabolic uh, reaction, which involve both lipid metabolism, glucose metabolism, and protein uh, metabolism. In this slide, you can see very well that uh, cancer patients, compared to uh, normal uh, subjects, have an increased level of inflammatory cytokines, especially of IL-6, which is most probably uh, the most significant of these, and there is a reduction of IL-2. Since the 90s, around 1995, we made a chemical experiment during which we treated uh, cancer patients in the neck and head 
These patients uh, underwent, along with neoplastic treatment, uh, also a uh, treatment with vaginal magistrate, which is perhaps the only acknowledged treatment for neoplastic achexia. We noticed that, along with an improvement of the parameters that you see here on this slide, in particular, appetite, body weight, and the quality of life index all improved. And this was associated with the reduction of inflammatory cytokines, which led us to believe that they were playing a very important role. Shortly after that, in an in vitro experiment, we were able to show directly that the addition in vitro at PBMC of subjects with cancer of medrosi uh, progesterone acetate, well, this was capable of inducing a reduction of the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines. And this was the direct experimental evidence of the fact that the mechanism with which, perhaps the most important mechanism with which uh, medrosi progesterone acetate is active in neoplastic achexia and is capable of inducing a reduction of this cytokine. This is the way in which through the activation of macrophages and therefore uh, the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines and CRP ultimately leads to a reduction of immunological defenses and uh, therefore a uh, reduction in the production of IL-2 and uh, other products. In the case of Kakixia, because there is this very deep metabolic alteration, there is clinical evidence showing why, for example, if we have an increase in the degradation of muscle proteins, which is one of the symptoms of, symptoms of neoplastic achexia, how uh, we said part of these proteins will synthesize in the at the hepatic level in what we call uh, acute phase proteins. This is one of the main uh, symptoms of profound alterations, almost irreversible alteration of the metabolism in these subjects. A while ago. We were saying that the increase of pro-inflammatory cytokines goes uh, hand in hand with the progression of the uh, cancer. These are representations of inflammatory cytokine fibrogen and a C-reactive protein. How this goes uh, proceeds at the same level as the disease. And we can see that compared to the controls, 